Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP and what a day it was to be an XRP holder. This is the one hour chart we pumped all the way up to 75 cents earlier today and i'm going to give you all the facts we have right now on why the price pumped to 75 cents but i want to point a few things out on the chart first so i looked at xrp on this green candle right here when we were just above 65 cents literally two minutes later we were already above 70 cents and that's why it's so important to always be holding xrp I always hear people say, I'm going to buy in once the price starts moving. You will be paying a much higher price for XRP. When this cryptocurrency moves, it moves very fast. Now, the red candle. First off, people said there's no way retail pumped the price of XRP to $0.75. Cents. Somebody else pumped the price. Then the price started falling back down and people said, don't fall for it. It's a fake dip it's a fake dip and that we're gonna start to pump back up and we did a little bit and this is where we are right now sitting here just above 66 cents this is why it pumped right here blackrock has officially filed for a new iShares xrp trust entity i want you to keep in mind wilmington delaware and the name daniel schwager this is the ethereum iShares Trust in Wilmington, Delaware, Daniel Schwager. They look absolutely identical. Then the news articles started coming out. BlackRock allegedly registers iShares XRP Trust product for XRP Spot ETF. Then soon after, BlackRock confirms news of XRP ETF filing is fake. But it looks absolutely real. Then this came out. The iShares XRP ETF Trust is not fake. Here it is listed on the Delaware Division of Corporations.gov. So it's on the Delaware.gov website. Two notarized witnesses and the grantor must sign the documents, as well as registered agents verifying identify identity of client before serving as their agent to file. So what do you think? Do you think it's real or do you think it's fake? Here's what I think happened. I think this absolutely was filed. I think somebody leaked that information out on Twitter, on X, and all of a sudden the price of XRP took off. But now we have to wait and see what happens from here. Like I always told you, I'm not a fan of BlackRock getting involved with XRP. I think they will absolutely manipulate the price of XRP moving forward. That's what I don't like about it. But I, you see, we actually got some price movement to the upside from it. But, you know, a lot of people said we're going to get fantastic upside movement at first. Then the manipulation will start soon after. So what do you think about that as well? Put it in the comments section because I'm torn on this. I don't like BlackRock getting involved. Is it good for XRP or is it bad for XRP holders? Maybe some of you can enlighten me. Let's go. Ripple expert questions the absence of a spot ETF application for XRP despite legal clarity. Now before all of everything else happened, this news article came out right before that filing. And they're blaming it on market cap. They're saying Ethereum and Bitcoin's market cap is much higher. Once XRP's market cap gets higher, you will see ETFs filed for XRP. But it would make sense to file for an XRP ETF because it's got legal clarity in the United States. But I'm always more focused on the utility behind XRP. That's what I see driving the price in the future. Not an ETF, not an IPO, utility. And the utility behind XRP is absolutely incredible. Justin, CZ from Binance said that Bitcoin spot ETF is a big deal in the United States, but not elsewhere. Do you agree with CZ? 
I still think that BlackRock is controlled by the World Economic Forum. I think they do the bidding of the World Economic Forum. The good thing is, it seems the World Economic Forum really likes XRP. XRP is witnessing surging institutional interest, as last week saw in rank among the top traded assets on ascent from Uphold, the company's new OTC trading platform for institutional investors. And we know institutional investors are already interested in XRP. We know the banks are interested in XRP. Major corporations want to work with Ripple and utilize XRP. Countries are working with Ripple and building out CBDCs right now. That's why I said an ETF to me, it's like, eh, if it happens, it happens. Boom, we reached the last stage of the SEC case. Take a listen to this. Oh, yes or no? Any settlement on the table? We've said uh, publicly since day one that this case settles if the SEC makes clear that Ripple sales and distributions of XRP and XRP's trading in the secondary market does not constitute a security. If they're willing to acknowledge that, the case settles and settles very, very quickly. So maybe we will see a settlement very soon. And if that happens, that can absolutely send the price of XRP. But if it doesn't happen soon, these are the next dates. So by February 12, 2024, the party shall complete remedies related discovery. By March 13, 2024, plaintiff shall file its brief with respect to remedies. By April 12, 2024, defendant shall file its opposition. And by April 29, 2024, plaintiff shall file its reply, if any. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to take all the way up until April 29th. A settlement can happen as soon as tomorrow. That's, once again, why you should always be holding XRP. So, wow, World Economic Forum today is having its annual meeting on cybersecurity. Major banks just recently went down when the de deposit system crashed and the new blockchain-backed financial system is ready to get switched in the background. Are we about to witness another black swan event before the phoenix can rise from the ashes of the old system? What do you think? Well, right now, there's a lot of talk about solar flares on the mainstream media news. So are we going to see a massive blackout in the coming days? Maybe it'll be over the course of the next three months or so. Because, I mean, if they're having a meeting on cybersecurity, you can bet they're planning a cyber attack. Most likely we'll hear of new cyber attacks as soon as next week. But this is also coming as well. Regulations, and like I always told you, it's going to be global crypto regulations. Take a listen. Many of these crypto assets are uh, offered from places that I would call sunny places for shady people. Um, Can you give an example? Well, uh, I think we all know uh, the, the kind of locations that we, where, that we are talking about. So we need to have a global framework to regulate this. It doesn't make sense to just have national approaches. I think this is mm -hmm. truly global, uh, global in nature. And so we have been working concretely, and then I'll stop, uh, on updating our uh, regulations on global stablecoin arrangements mm -hmm. and coming forward with a new set of uh, recommendations for what we call unbacked crypto assets or other crypto assets. They are now in the open for consultation. So we are uh, looking forward very much for sort of the response. First... Like I said, global crypto regulations are coming. And I think that's going to happen most likely within the coming months. Take notice, Brad Garlinghouse was sitting there as well. And once those regulations come, we're going to see meme coins disappear very fast. We're going to see all that money that's in meme coins start to come into utility. Hopefully, people wake up and get their money out of meme coins before it's too late. 
or they're going to end up losing everything when that happens. Because I think regulations are going to happen overnight. Like one day you're just going to wake up and regulations are going to be put in place. People keep say, saying that regulations are years away because the United States can't get its act together, can't get any type of framework out there. I don't think the U.S. even is working on it because they know those regulations are going to come from somewhere else. But I think that is going to come in fast. Be grateful. XRP will be generational wealth. One of the greatest lessons in life is to learn and to master patience. With XRP, it's a win-win. And that's all it takes right now. Just be patient. Watch what happens with this ETF filing. You know, I just wanted to give you the facts on that. Because a lot of people are really, you know, hyping it up. They're saying... That's it. That ETF is going live as soon as tomorrow. It's going to be announced. It's going to get approved. But we don't even have facts if it's real or not yet. It looks very real to me, though. I will say that. But that's the way I like to talk about things when they're announced. Because when you don't really know, why hype people up? It just gets them anticipating something big happening. Then when it doesn't happen and it fizzles out, it leaves them with more, you know, disappointment, more frustration. Then all of a sudden they start selling their crypto off. I'm done with this. I'm tired of being hyped up for nothing. I'm tired of being hyped up with no price movement. So let's see what happens from here. You know, there's two ways of telling people what's going on, the right way and the wrong way. There's no reason to hype something up to be something more than it is. And it's always better to just stick to the facts. But we're going to still have to be patient and positive. Let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.